Hi all, welcome to my video. Today in this video, we will be working with this part. Let's start. First, we are going to create a new part. And then in the top plane, I will create a sketch. Then we pick one circle, another one here. We start to give dimensions. We got here 150. We have here 20. Sheet metal, base flange tab. And the material parameters thickness is just one. Okay. First operation is completed. Let's say base plate, name of it. So we are going to change some things here. We revise our sketch. Let me show you again. We are in the same part. We come to our sketch and we change this guy. We remove dimension. We say from here to here it is 15. We close this one. We got another part. We say save as. We click here and we say top plate. So without repeating commands, we created one extra part. So now I open a new assembly. I will bring top plate and base plate to this environment. Insert components, base plate and top plate. Yes. Both here, one millimeter thickness part. Top plate is fixed. You see here F. We make it float. We select base plate. We select origin of base plate origin of assembly there are two different things control press we make it made and we bring our base plate to the center of our assembly then top plate here we're going to do with him we select right plane select right plane both right planes selected and then we say coincident and then we select front plane and front plane uh, sorry, from top plate, uh, front plane, yes. Then we coincided them. You could select two outer surface and give us the concentric, but that's uh, not what I want now. So I select two plate of internal surfaces and I give here a dimension of 70. Okay, let's go to the next step. We have this top plate, we open this him, and we remove this base flange operation. Maybe it is good that we first save this one. No, I will not do it because if we do it this way, this part will be changing. Let's not do it. It's confused. So, top plate, plate selected. We have another two sketches. And we have here one line which is going through all the way to origin. Everything construction geometry. We know here we have 15. We know here we have 150. So we can start to play here a bit. Here I created another sketch. And here I will introduce an arc. The third option of arc, three point arc. I select arc, control press, midpoint, boom, and then we have this part there. I combine these two points, I will combine these two also. So this will give me all flexibility to control my sketch. So then we make these two perpendicular. Let's give some dimensions. This is 13, this is 2. And here we should have some angle 50. Guys, these angles are not random. There is a physics behind of it. This will determine your flow. So there is an ideal angle. And this is a demonstration. So I don't bother myself with the calculations. They are very different things. So we got something like this. Okay. What we did here to outer sketch, outer circle, and in between one line. 
and then I combine with this line. You're gonna think why you did it because I don't want to give this uh, relations manually. And at the center, I created here this arc, so it looks good. And these are the dimensions. So I go to features because the operation that I'm going to do now it is not good for uh, our sheet metal friends, so it will not work. Two direction, or mid plane, 0.25. We are going to create a height of 70 and this will be from mid plane. So from mid plane, 70 height, 10 feature created. That's it. Nothing else. So on top plane, I will look normal to, I will need base sketch. On top plane, I will create here on top of that extruded part, this uh, new sketch and I will create here two lines and I can convert this guy make him construction geometry select three of them make parallel make symmetric so these are symmetric guys now so we can convert this whole surface also now to a construction geometry so so to a sketch and trim unnecessary parts okay we got here a length of I think six millimeter or five is good. Five millimeter sketch. Okay. We close this and extrude of one because the metal plate has a thickness of one. So we create another sketch. We activate this and we look normal too. Now what we will do, we will create a sketch something like this. If you come point back, it will give you an arc. So that's how I get that thing. I combine these surfaces. Okay, control press, this tool is tangent. Let's create another center line a normal line I combine with the center of my arc for construction control pressed I give relations that means they are in the same direction so uh, here 155 here length of 4 and this was it something like this created now I will do an extra plus base. 0.25 was material thickness. We keep it like this. So fill it. Normally principle is at least with the material thickness you put a fillet. I made it here because we can't continue now with the sheet metal. And then I'm just cheating my program by doing something like this. Okay. One side is good, top plane is selected, surfaces, cut with surface, top plane is selected, half of the part will be cut, we don't need that guy. Top plane selected, mirror selected, we go here, bodies, we will mirror whole body and merge solids active so it will be combined and then we will get this blade. Let's save this guy. Blade, blade, fan. Normally, I don't use this kind of notation when I uh, work with parts, because you may have millions of parts in your computer and you get into really big trouble. So give numbers. There's a tutorial. That's why I'm not doing, but I advise you to do that. So, blades fun here. So let's make it. This guy. Uh, orient according to our orientation front plane orient uh, with front plane okay top plane right plane oriented with right plane and this surface will be touching to this and we have it yes so as you see we are missing some 
components here, some cutouts we will use from this sketch, this part. So let's first save our uh, assembly. This is centrifugal fan. If you do that, you can start to edit assembly parts. And I click on this part and say edit. And now top plane being edited. So what I need, I need here this cutout. It was in fact in the other case used as a boss operation, but I will convert that one here. So what is wrong? Oh, I know what is wrong. Edit part and uh, open a sketch here first and then convert entities. Yes, we have this here now. I close it. Next with cut. Link to thickness. Link to thickness only active when you work with sheet metal. Don't forget it. So, good. Let me open this part to show you what I got. I have this cut out here, but I got this from another part. So I don't need to remodel here. That's the idea. So you see here a dependency. It's good. We select this guy. We write here 4D. We select this circular edge and then we copy it 40 times. So same operation. We repeat here so you will understand better. Select this guy. Edit part. Create here a sketch. And then take this cutout. Say, think it both in uh, features uh, object, but I will use it as a cut. In reality, you will have also some tolerances, most probably there. It will be bigger, smaller. Uh, that is fine. This is just a demonstration, guys. We are not here producing parts and drawing parts for production. We will have different considerations there. So, this is good. Base plate is being now edited. Cut extrude already here. So, I don't need to go, as I did before, to show you to part level. I can make also copy operation here. What I'm doing here now, editing parts in assembly. A lot of people uh, doing this way. They like to have much more control over their uh, models. It gives you a good flexibility, but there is also drawbacks. So I will do it when I need it. So we have this blade fan. I will copy it circularly. And uh, here I will have 40 instances, and boom, we have this. So, in my model, there was one thing I would like to do that. I will edit this one. This edge was a little bit longer, so I will make it 4 millimeter extension. When I did that, yes, you see, everything becomes like that. I don't know in reality how big it is just uh, for the demonstration sake it is okay so let's make the shop and wrap up this uh, tutorial front plane selected new part open i will have corner rectangle here select everything make this guy's construction geometry and we can make this one again normal line We will have something like this. Okay. Smart dimensions. Eight. When I'm working, I am not always selecting these guys because this option also here. If you press your right mouse button and select objects, you can assign their different uh, commands, and it is convenient. If you all they model some things, it is really not nice to uh, go each time to pick these objects from here. Press right mouse button and then move your uh, mouse then you will get this so 15 and another 15 here we get this guy it looks fine revolve parts never should be uh, uh, have sharp edges they're always uh, must be free of sharp edges because they can cut people's hands and then they will curse behind a few so it's not nice 
anyway we add chamfers this is good we look normal to here and I will create here one sketch okay on this face I have a sketch and I put that a line because I want to use a hole wizard and I will use that line to position my uh, a hole operation okay hole positioning so here now let's keep it uh, metric for in this example we select this guy and this guy midpoint so it will not be drilling all the way down 10 millimeter is okay okay we created a hole we make a circle pattern select the circular edge and say four okay and I would like to know how far I am from center I select from plane select this one so this 13.75 good shaft here sorry shaft says fan and then I go back to my assembly okay I will invite him shaft fan this is fine let's select this surface now okay and then I will need two faces to constrain it it will not be still fully constrained if you see here shaft fan here have negative sign next to it it's not fully constrained so I select two from planes one from SE one from shaft fan and uh, I go to mate and then I can assign this so what we are missing holes here and the bolts so here I will select the sketch here I will put one circle and I combine four points okay so from here to here was 13.75 right okay good and I put here some circles I'm trying to demonstrate in reality how I work might be a little bit messy but uh, when you're doing real work guys you don't take care of much so much things you don't look from normal to you just let it things flow and uh, because you want to finish task quickly you don't want to spend a lot of time so I might use here I might use assembly it doesn't matter I have a lot of opportunity and uh, options I don't I don't care you can use any way you want program is flexible you don't need to worry about it just make use about it. Uh, make use of it so good this shaft also here how we secure this guy here I will use a bolt I have my design library I have hexagon socket bolts and then 912 is the generic one I will have metric 4 by 10 I created and normally I would use also washer because there will be a lot of vibration in this thing if maybe you would like to use a Loctite to fix this thing but now this is as I mentioned again earlier this is a demonstration so we don't bother so much I put one and I will copy the others so I a pattern and this is it it's very simple and I hope you could follow it and just yeah you can make some variation change some things uh, use different things and uh, play with it and it will develop your uh, understanding of the program also the skills that uh, you will develop so thanks for watching if you like it like button and make command guys see you bye bye